Hello everyone, I'm Andrea and welcome. Today, I'm gonna do these. Uh, I'm gonna try the uh, Rare Beauty foundation. It's the uh, Weightless foundation. I know they have more options out there, but this is the card that I have and hopefully one of the uh, shades is going to match me. So they have, which what I'm assuming I'm gonna be matched to would be 250W, it's warm, it's right here. If not, I might also be cooler. 340C is the next one, but I think it'll be 240W. So I already have my sunscreen on. Somebody's here next to me uh, reading, so. Uh, keep that in mind, you're gonna hear pages turning. I have the um, uh, Beauty of Josan sunscreen on. It's the uh, uh, Rice and Probiotics. It's a chemical sunscreen, but it plays really nice underneath um, everything, pretty much. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this. I'm gonna shake it a bit. So, let's see how this is looking. If I can open it. Okay, uh, man, they really glued it up there. Let's see, this is what it looks like. Kind of looks quite dark. Let's do a little swatch. Huh, this is what it looks like. Oh, it looks dark, you guys. Did I not open the good one? Oh, I did. It also comes with a primer base. Ooh, that looks really dark. Hold on, let's see. I'm gonna take, look at this. You know what, I'm just gonna go like this. So it looks quite nice. And then I'll let it see if it actually oxidizes or what. But I'm also gonna take it down here and see. Hold it here, because the light is much better. Oh gosh, it looks dark. Okay, can't do that one. Hmm, all right, let's see. One down, 160C, wow, this dark. Okay, let's see the 160C, but I'm not really cool. This might be a total disaster. Let's see, this is quite light. I'm gonna put it right next to it, to fit uh, 160C, I believe it said. Definitely is cool. It's kind of like a, mm -hmm. do we see that? Hmm. Feels uh, very velvety. Oh, the other one dried. Hmm. Interesting. So let me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually take a little bit of both and mix it right in the middle here. I'm gonna do this and this. I'm going to just mix them together and see what we come up with. Ha. Huh. I think we can just work with that. That's kind of a bummer. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just actually mix things. I'm not a fan of mixing because when you mix, you really don't know what, this is what in the middle, what it came up with, the mixing. I think that's that's gonna be a nice color for me. I'm gonna take it on this pinky a little bit and kind of check it down there. Yeah, much better. Maybe a little more cool in there. Do we see that? If you don't see it right, it's because it's good, because it matches the color, so yeah, I definitely want to wipe that off. I have my little washcloth here. All right. Let's try now to just mix stuff. Man, I really thought that that would be the best one. Hmm. There's a third 340C. You know what? Let's try the 340C. Much on the front on the first one. This is a uh, the cool one, but look how dark it is. It's 340. I have a feeling this is like running really, really dark. Um, yeah, way too dark for me. Yeah, okay. Back to the first uh, initial. Mix up thing. Okay. Um, hmm. 
I definitely don't want it to start drawing. I feel like I need more cool chips. More cool. Feels very oily as a uh, consistency. I'm gonna do one side, this side with the hands, and the other side with the brush. And I'm gonna use this Fit Globe um, Chubby Brush. I'm also going underneath my eyes and on top instead of using a concealer. Sometimes it just works better to just have the same, unless you have like really deep set, um, like really discolored underneath or purple, not discolored, but purple or like pink or whatever it is that you're having your under eyes and you need more coverage or more um, color correction, but I'm really okay with just this. It feels really like soft and softening on the skin. Like really, really smooth. Color not bad. Okay, let's do this before it starts to actually dry. Because on my hand, it actually went down and dried really, really quite quick. Of course, the brush is eating up a lot of the product. So I might have to put a little more. I need a, bra or a mirror. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely much, uh, much more coverage on that side. But heavier too, or I didn't mix it properly. I can still mix it. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more coverage on this side. More, more product because the brush has not soaked, of course, anything. And since I didn't have a Mirror, I really am not sure. I wasn't sure how I was doing, so. Uh. Hmm. On the brush side, it feels like it's settled on that little thing there, and the little indentation of my smile line. But we'll see, because I'm not done mixing it really. I do need to get a little more, just to match the coverage, especially on the under eyes and you can see my um, sunspots here more than you can see them here because of course this covered much better so let's match the coverage we'll take a little bit of everything it's actually actually feels like it's got a lot of coverage for ooh, too much. I'm just touching the little bubble and it's like a lot of coverage suddenly I'm like look how little I have just to touch all right, I think this might be good. Let's use the brush. And that's a more cool on my finger that I need. Make sure you're reading. Don't get distracted. You're okay, I'm okay, I'll read it after. All right. I still feel like I have less coverage here than here. Hand looks good, but I feel like, let's see, yeah. Like brush almost looks better. A little dry spot there. Huh. I didn't think I had those anymore. I do need to go up here with the brush because I feel like it had a little settlement there. It's definitely heavier here. Still see a bunch of my spots there, my um, brown spots. And I'm assuming it's because the driving issue on this side, even though I do use sunscreen, you know, sometimes you just can't use enough to do that. I feel like this under eye needs a little more. And then I also need to kind of double up there. So let's try that. Okay. 
to layer up and see how it does. Hmm, that's good. It's definitely making a difference. I don't have much stuff up here, just a tiny bit. I don't have anything on my finger. I'm gonna take a little more and just apply it wherever it is that I feel like I need more. Oops, that was a lot. Okay, let's try this. Okay. See, that's what that's what happens when you're like mixing things and you don't have enough to finish and then you have to make it up. So I thought that it set up pretty quickly, but actually, you can still mess with it. I still was able to mess with it as, as much as I wanted, actually. It's still not set, really. I'm just gonna go down this way just to kind of match my neck. Like it actually, maybe just a little, a little warm. No, no, it's good. Okay, hand side, brush side. I don't know if you can tell a difference. It's really bright outside and I'm in front of the mirror, <laughs> in front of the window, so, um, Hopefully you don't have too much of a hard time seeing, but so far um, it looks really nice actually. Um, this brush did really good on that side and then the hands did also good on this side. So we'll see how it actually wears. I have some um, product in my, in my eyebrows, which I'm gonna clean right now, but it's just nothing to do with the, with the foundation. I'm gonna wipe my fingers. Let's look at the swatches and see how it actually much it dried so um quite actually set not too too much it, it can still have i have transfer on that side and then yeah quite set and then here quite liquidy so the more product of course the more uh the the longer it takes to actually set so um yeah as as with everything pretty much but i'm gonna leave these like these and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup i'll set with the uh, honest beauty uh invisible blur um let's just use this one i'll use the um flawless face from elf it's a it's kind of big and fluffy i'm just gonna take some and i'm actually gonna set everywhere just because I know myself and it's summertime and I want this makeup to last. Um, and it didn't seem like it had set already. Make sure that you don't set your creases. So go and kind of smooth out whatever your creases are. Underneath, whatever it is that you're creasing. So you're not setting any creasing, any creases. I like to go first on my under eyes and eyes because they, they set the, um, the fastest, the, they crease the, the fastest, I should say. And then I'm just gonna go on the middle, just with a light layer though. Don't overdo it, unless you know your skin can handle it, because it's gonna start to look um, too heavy if, if you do that. A tiny bit. Definitely take as you go. Because if you put too much at the beginning, then you risk on putting um, too much on one spot and then it's not gonna wanna move because your base is kind of damp and kind of wettish. Okay, let's just much buff in this. It looks nice, you guys, though. Let's see how it wears. Hopefully it wears good. But yeah, it, it looks really nice and not too shabby under the eyes i still see like a lot more purple on this side than it is on this side but i'm gonna let it be though i see like a little heaviness up here and now it's set so i'm just gonna let it be all right uh, one thing i want to do is just go like this what if it's left so i can sit underneath there too because if you do not sit there then you will see um you'll see stuff there too starting to come out like oils and all that um and the foundation breaks down and all that so um this is it uh, i think it looks really nice i'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and then i'll come back and i'll show you how everything looks and i'll tell you how it actually did with it on hey guys um this is what it looks like with the makeup all on top of it um bronzer blush a little bit of um illuminizer on the cupid's bow and on the high points of my cheeks um the eyes um really good 
everything went on smooth no dragging of course i did powder so that helps too but um no patchiness no grabbing no nothing and let's look how it's let's see how it looks so um where i did my hand it almost looks like it's better so if i'm looking up here i can see like more product here than it is here also on the nose kind of like more gathering in here than it is here um so i don't know i think maybe hand does it better even though i was actually tempted to go with the brush because it kind of looked good at the beginning but honestly i'm glad i didn't because i kind of like the hand better and it gave me more coverage from the beginning because of course i didn't have to you know soak it in the brush so looking in the mirror from afar looks really nice looking in the mirror from uh, close looks, looks really nice so this is still wet there is transfer uh this one still uh this one is dry uh still a little transfer but definitely much better that it's dried and once it dries it's definitely um i'm gonna go like this once it dries it looks matte uh where there's more product it looks still kind of like shiny and all that i hope you can see that but it's definitely matte as it dries it looks matte which i'm i'm hoping it stays matte because i do like a matte foundation um there is plenty radiance underneath from my skincare and sunscreen and the sun that comes in through so um if a foundation is matte and not cakey it's like really thumbs up for me so i'm gonna go on with my day and i will come back in about three to four hours to kind of check in with you and see how it looks and um, we'll take it from there but uh, i'll see you soon guys so guys i went to wash my hands <laughs> because of the swatches and everything and um i washed it twice with soap rubbed it in scrubbed it in with my fingers and then my nails because it wouldn't come off and this is the result you guys it stained my skin do we see this dark spots then lighter here and then like really dark here i hope it's not blurry i'm gonna come in close i'm gonna stay like this until it actually is looking properly and i'll just cut it off it freaking stained my skin have you guys had that going on i mean seriously like i'm gonna be left with i guess that might not be bad if it's like a self tanner type of thing i'll take it because it has no damage but wow like has anybody experienced that or is it just me that's just weird like really it really does not want to come off it's like stained hmm weird Three hours and a half in and let's see how the foundation looks um so sh um i was gonna say shiny not really shiny more luminous than shiny um it's definitely showing more than what it was it's definitely definitely you can see my nose there how shiny it looks uh, but even with that it actually looks nice um i could soak up the oils which i will i will do with you here so that we can um, see how it looks afterwards. But there's like really no breaking down of the foundation. The only thing that I can see is where my um, hair has actually touched. There's like two lines here. I don't know if you can tell, like one up here and then one underneath there. Um, there's some like little bunching over there, I'd say, but very tiny. Um, other than that, in the crevices of my nose, of course. It just collects there because there's a fold so of course it's gonna do that but other than that it's really not breaking down it's really nothing um out of the ordinary it looks nice so i'm gonna take this blotting paper and just kind of soak up the oils <laughs> that's one side it's it's my oily t-zone always it's going to be that way um foundations are going to be shinier in there the sides usually look good which it does they do today um you can see like i do have like at the highest points of my uh, cheeks i have some highlighter but i definitely do not have it in the middle um nor do i have it over here and um in the cheek part so 
Um, let's have a look after blotting. You can still tell my nose is, is shiny. It's just, it's just how it is. And it's also how it looks. I, I think that it looks even more shiny in um, the camera, through the camera, than it actually is in real life, really. It's just how the sun actually catches the um, reflection, I guess. Uh, not to say that the foundation is not uh, glowy, because it is, you know, I mean, it's not glow. it's not really glowy. It's just um, radiant there, radiant, but I like it. It looks nice. Um, the sides do look nice. It really is um, holding up really good. Um, bronzer and blush are still there, both sides. Um, it's it's kind of warm, you can hear my attic fan. It's warmer now than it's been, and especially warm in this room, um, especially when I keep the door open, uh, closed in there. So yeah, um, really like it. So far, it's really nice. Um, wearing really good, especially after blotting. It's definitely looking nice. And remember, I put it on my eyes uh, and underneath, and it's really holding up good. I don't see any... Um, any need to soak up anything underneath my eyes and I usually have to with certain foundations not always but with certain foundation I have to and I don't have to do this with this one so that's a plus um, it looks really nice from afar from close it really looks nice so I'm excited to see what's gonna happen uh, by the end of the day do remember that I, I powdered everywhere so that's gonna count into um, soaking up the oils and actually keeping the foundation wear longer which is why I do it uh, my my skin can handle my skin is definitely oily during the um, summertime especially in the metal zone so yeah really like it so far um, rare beauty um, really good so far so uh, we'll see I might have to do a uh, battle between this one and Dior and see how it actually looks if this one does, that's really good because that one so far it's been the um, the one that wears the longest but anyways it's for this one we're talking about this one now let's stop rumbling okay I'll see you at the end of the day so we can actually see how it works 10 hours since uh, I put this on foundation on um, the Ray Beauty um, it's quite shiny, quite oily. Um, I've had, I have a lot of my coverage gone in the middle of my face, mostly of course. Um, with oily T zone, it's definitely where it goes off the first. So uh, I'm gonna take it in calls. So quite kind of gone over, quite oily here. I'm going to just kind of go like this, and hopefully you can kind of see you know difference between the fingers and they're like quite oily um but honest to tell you um even with it being so oily i still have some coverage left besides the kind of the chin mostly maybe because i also ate so that could have been maybe i wiped but everything else i mean i still have my bronzer on some kind of um blush still left um but everything looks good and remember I put it under under the on top of the eyes and underneath so um, the color held up really good for it also underneath my eyes um, it's really not oily the coverage is gone mostly on this side and then more than this side uh, this side was the one with the brush this side was the one with the hand I really don't see any difference in wear as far as um, hand or uh, brush other than the fact that the coverage here is quite gone if I look up here you can see more of my um, under eye discoloration here than here but it's not that much of a difference honestly it's just a tiny bit but yeah um, the nose is the coverage is almost gone there's a lot of oiliness going on. Let me see this oily fingers. But uh, blotting it would take care of these and then uh, you'd still be able to wear it. So, I mean, continue the night if you were to. I would definitely, if I were to go out now, which I'm a mom, I don't. <laughs> but um, 
I would definitely you know blot or wipe and then just powder with whatever whether it is a um, uh, powder foundation just to give some coverage probably i would do that because it's night it's really nothing left I would maybe apply a little bit of a blush in the in the cheek area if if i felt like it but it's definitely worn really nice you guys i'm um i'm kind of surprised lately i've been really having luck with foundations <laughs> so um i'm liking it um thumbs up for it 10 hours later and it's been actually quite hot or I, i've been very hot so um, we were chilling having some pizza and all that and i like a cover on i just i just always do but i got so hot and so sweaty uh, i had to take it off and all that so it got really hot during the afternoon hours so i kind of sweat a little bit um and this held up i mean that's why the oiliness i'm assuming but it definitely coverage wise, it's still there. I like when a foundation just wears like this, where when the coverage comes off, it comes off so nice. It's not like red and patchy. There's nothing really um, wiped off because a lot of them are just transfer. Um, they transfer. So when you touch anything or do anything, it's just wipes off the coverage this one didn't do that i did set with powder for longevity so that also helps but yeah um lots of rumbling <laughs> um i really like it um uh, give it i give it a thumbs up two thumbs up and um i'm excited to see what else um you know how else is it gonna wear but i definitely would need to get a color that matches me because combining shades just i just don't like doing that <laughs> So um, I hope that this has helped you a little bit if you were interested in it. And now we see kind of, kind of how it wears during the day, summertime when it's hot outside and you're sweating and all that. So um, up until I see you guys next time, you guys take care.